Alright friends, and welcome back to another dev blog review for the upcoming DLC for Battle Brothers, Blazing Deserts. This is dev blog number 137, The Hyena. Now the first thing you would have noticed if you've looked at this dev blog already, it's a short one, which I'm going to choose to interpret as the DLC is close. Prepare yourselves friends, let's get into it. While dire wolves, webnecks and shrats dwell deep in the dark forests of the north, the upcoming southern deserts have entirely different beast inha beastly inhabitants. We've already learned about the Ifrit, intended mostly as an opponent for well-established companies. This week is about a new beastly opponent for you to face in the early and mid game, the Hyena. Let's take a look. Prowling the southern deserts and steppe is the Hyena, a carnivorous mammal that resembles a poorly groomed cross between feline and canine. Prey can be few and far between in the endless sea of the sand, and so the hyena is both scavenger and nocturnal hunter. Many a, tra a traveller lost in the desert ended up as a feast for a pack of hyenas. But whether they tore him apart as he was still alive, or he died of thirst long before the pack came upon him, is another matter. In the barren wastes of the south, no scrap of flesh can go to waste, and the hyena has a jaw strong enough to crush bone so that it can get to every last shred. As it turns out, a jaw that can crush bone can crush armor quite well too, making the hyena a threat also to men in armor that would protect them against lesser wildlife. Although a hyena is smaller than a northern direwolf and not always able to kill an unarmored man in a single turn, the way it rips flesh from its victim can leave terrible bleeding wounds and inflict the bleeding status effect. A battle against starved hyenas is not lost as quickly as against a pack of direwolves. But it may well be over before you even realize it when your men live on borrowed time as they slowly bleed out, while the hyenas circle you in anticipation of a feast. Hyenas roam and attack in packs that swarm and often surround their prey. Attacking from multiple angles, they are faster in combat than most other opponents. Faster even than a direwolf. A single hyena can attack three times a turn often overwhelming their victims and leaving them fatigued as they try to dodge every attack. However, their morale isn't particularly good, and like most beasts, they are especially afraid of firearms, spewing smoke and fire with a loud bang. Unreliable as they otherwise may be. Naturally, hyenas drop unique loot which can either be sold or used to craft new items, including a new armor attachment if you own the beasts and exploration DLC. Okay, so a little variation of the direwolf, basically. Faster than a direwolf. I'm wondering whether they're going to be more dangerous or less dangerous than direwolves, but I suppose the answer, as with almost any beast type in this game, hell, even any enemy type, is how prepared you are and whether you have the correct weapons available to you. They attack three times a turn, so shields and swords are going to be the order of the day. And it does say that they're going to have Overwhelm, but you can see there's a few different types. It looks like there's going to be Frenzied and Regular Variants as well. Interesting. It is good that they're including an enemy type that isn't that, that badass in the south. Not much to say, really. I'll just treat them as Dire Wolves, and then once we actually jump into some combat, we'll see how that pans out. But good, I'm glad they have this. Please, 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 release DLC. I'm ready. <laughs> 